Hi traders, welcome to this demonstration of the FX Argo Traders Stochastic Crossover Alert System. You can see we've got a couple of charts here. I've got a US dollar um, yen H4 chart and a euro sterling M30 chart. And if I flick between these charts and then just click anywhere in the chart space, you'll see the selected chart and its ID come up in our interface, which we use to control the stochastic indicator, which you can see here. So using the interface, this is a Java interface, um, which synchronizes with MT4, uh, you can control all aspects of the stochastics indicator very quickly indeed. So if I wanted to, for example, change the, the indicator periods to 10, 6 and 6, which would make it a slow stochastic, you can see here how quickly those changes can be made. Conver compared to a conventional MT4 uh, indicator when you have to go into the external input parameters like this you'd have to go indicator list uh, you see the indicator then you need to edit go into the common uh, onto the um, inputs tab if there are any and then you'd have to then basically make a selection from that and it's fairly unclear what some of those parameters may be but using the interface you can access all of those external parameters really quickly so for example if I wanted to change any of the line colors, so let's make our main line uh, olive. You can see how quickly that change has been rippled through. Uh, I change the line style to solid, change the thickness to really thick, four, and you can see that change being made. I can change the color of my signal arrows, so in my cross downs I might want to make them black, and you see that's just being rippled through. I can change the arrow codes to any winding codes that you want to choose. Uh, I can control the threshold levels very quickly, so if I want to increase the threshold level to 90 for the upper trigger level and 10 for the lower trigger level, you see how quickly those changes have been made. You can change the actual signal line styles, and you see once, they, when it, once we get a tick, you'll see those signal line styles change. It's dot or dashed signal line. We can change the signal lines into rays to make them extend into the future. And we've got a full alert system as well. So we've got uh, down here we can control email alerts and those that will send emails to your designated email account which you set up in MT4. You've also got push notifications. So if you enable push notifications, you'll get alerts on the device which is synchronized to your MT4 account for push notification purposes. We can set the maximum number of alerts and also the interval between the alerts and we can also use select an alert sound which can be any WAV file on your machine that's just a simple file picker like that we can show the alert history so you saw euro sterling 15 minute stochastics potentially crossing up that was at 10.34 so six minutes ago um, we go back to our 15 minute chart on euro sterling can see yeah uh, we've got a, this is down here basically it's giving us a an indication because we've got if we look at this chart time frame we're using touch based alerts as our crossover types so that means when the when the stochastics just touch providing they're above or below the trigger level you'll get an alert being triggered if we went for a printed based crossover type then it will only alert us when the actual stochastics physically cross over and finally we've got profiles so we can if we wanted to create a profile, for instance, let's go back to our yen chart and we'll go to uh, four hours, I think it was. So this is our one, the one where we've got a thick stochastic, uh, main stochastic line. And let's create a profile, we'll just call it uh, STO H4. I can save that profile now. And if I want to go back and then ripple that profile onto the 15 minute time frame, I just simply go to select profile, pick up STOH4, and then when you get a tick, you'll see that profile being rippled through like so. So the beautiful thing about the interface and the way and the methodology behind the system is you can have individual profiles for each time frame for the same asset class, which is it's the same asset within an asset class. So it, that really does give you quite a lot of power if you want to analyze multiple time frames in different ways. So that's the stochastic crossover alert system. Uh, thanks very much for watching. And please don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions. Thank you.